And it's simply not true, by the way, that you have to have a paper in Cell Nature and sci or Science to get, a, to get a job. There are many people who have uh, you know, in, in, uh, eschewed the pu publications in these journals long before I, I mounted my campaign and who have done very well. And, the, and <clears throat> the postdocs who come to my lab know that we won't even be discussing that subject. <laughs> and they've done well. Um, they've gotten jobs. I have a terrific postdoc who, on the strength of two papers in this new journal, Eli, got a K99 award from the NIH. It was a you know, you know, rare privilege. So uh, I think with time and experience, uh, people will see uh, that they don't have to publish in, the, in, the, in journals like that. that so I'm, I'm trying to wean people from that almost narcotic that they, ha you know, they, ha you know, they have to publish in these journals. It just isn't so. The most important thing I would say for you is not necessarily having your paper in Nature, Science, or Cell, but having it out so that people can see and evaluate the importance of your work. And the problem with the business plan of journals like Nature, Cell, and Science is that in looking for articles that are going to generate a lot of buzz, um, uh, they have a review process that uh, extends the, the time that it takes to get the work published because they're looking, frankly, for any excuse to reject the paper. 